Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can create scene management inside the Loopy Pro, which is something you'll find in other softwares, but also inside some of the external controllers. Before I start, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So the first thing I want to do, I just created a new project, very simple. I just only removed the microphone as an input because I'm not going to use it. I'm going to the canvas and I'm going to add more clips. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to be able to have at least a four by four grid. So when I reach this stage, I know that I have four vertical clips, four rows of clips, and um, then that's okay because then I can remove these lines like so. And if you have a look, you have a four by four grid of clips. I'm going back to the canvas. I'm going to the fill colors here and I'm going to adjust the colors like so. So yellow, adjust these two, green, adjust these two, and then this light blue, adjust that one, those two. As you can see, nice, neat adjusted colors. Now I'm going back to the canvas again, like so. And I click here where you can um, select the widgets and make alteration to the UI. I'm going to zoom here, create some more space there. I'm going to add a button there, click and hold to see the handles and going to resize it like so. Then click and hold, wait for the menu to appear the context menu, select copy, then click outside like so, paste, click again outside, paste, click again, paste. Perfect. So as you can see, we have a nice UI now. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head it here at this button. I'm going to change the name to Sim 1, like so. And when I click on the button, I want for these rows of clip to play as a solo and all the others to stop. Okay, that's very simple. So one way to do that is to act on the press um, action here and add a solo type of clip actions and select as targets that first row of clips like so click and save next what you need to pay attention is what it says solo context here click on it and you have choose selection color and all loops if you see the default one color will solo these loop mute other loops of the same color that's not what you want you want to solo this loop by mute every other loop. So select all loops there. So make sure that that is selected, otherwise you have uh, not the desired behavior. So repeat the process for um, all the others. So solo, like so specific clip, we select the second row of clips. We ensure the context is right as well. And we change the name to scene two, like so. Again, we repeat that on the third button. So let's change the name to scene three and add the specific action like so. So specific clips, third row like so. Click save, adjust the context to all loops. And then finally do the same on the last button like so. Okay, perfect. Solo as an action, we target all specific clips, i.e. all the clips on the last row, and we ensure that the solo context is set to all loops, like so. Perfect. Let's have a look at the UI and see how it looks. Right, looks really nice. Okay, let's add some audio to the clips and let's test it. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to use some audio units. So let's go back to the mixer, like so. Let's click on the plus sign and let's add an audio unit. And let's select um, Digistick 2 here. Okay, let's go back to the main UI and you have Digistick 2 here at the bottom. So let's expand that. Let's ensure that uh, it is synced to the tempo. And indeed, I take the opportunity now to set that tempo to 120, so we confirm that and we have only one bar. Okay, let's scroll this down where we see the pattern for Digistick. Again, uh, a little bit above here, like so. Now let's add some steps, in this case for the bass drum. Let's click play and record. Let's pause, perfect. Now let's go, um, to um, 
let's stop there and let's add some snares like so let's click play and record nice okay let's continue let's add some uh, high hat here as uh, steps inside the dg sticks too let's click play and record this third clip and let's de deactivate the previous one so play stop there okay nice so we finished with that so we deactivate digistick 2 so we put that in idle there and we have created all the necessary clip now i'm going to use two fingers here and i'm going to click and hold on this clip drag and drop on this clip to copy so one click second finger hold move down drag drop we have copied it Right, if everything is okay now, I will click play and then I can I will show you that uh, you can click on this button change from one scene to the next and uh, the clips will adjust accordingly. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to the first clip like so. Now, what I would like to do is now to add a little bit more audio because let's make it a little bit more interesting. So let's go back to the mixer. Let's uh, this time add a MIDI source and let's choose step bud. Let's also add a synth, so another audio unit and let's choose Bliss Alpha. I re a really nice synth, I recommend it. Let's set the destination of step bud to be Bliss Alpha so that uh, the MIDI output from step bud will go inside Bliss Alpha and you can see the destination already set for Bliss Alpha to go to all clips. So let's uh, um, deactivate the mixer and you can see here we can bring up all the different audio units so let's start with step bud. Okay perfect let's set the scale to minor why not then let's go down an octave and let's go to the gate and let's set the gate to maximum and note let's leave it there for now and let's record the um first clip so Now you notice that Bliss Alpha didn't stop even when I stop the clock, that sometimes happens. So in this case you can click on the panic button here. So I have um, reached the panic button, open up Bliss Alpha, uh, click on the cogs here, go on MIDI sources and then here you have uh, the link with the bud so I click on panic. Okay, so just remember that is very useful. Okay, next what I want to do is just to um create a different melody so let's come here and let's create something different something like that why not okay let's listen to that Okay, so um, let's change the rate. This one eighth is too long. So let's go to uh, one half and see if that will be okay. So let's try. Perhaps not. So um, that's not really is too slow so let's go to one fourth and let's try that one okay and uh, let's record that one instead because i think that is perfectly all right and you can see here you can click on bliss alpha as well to deactivate it if you need so let's play and record
Okay, that's nice for me, that will do. So click with two fingers, one and two on that loop, drag and drop like so. So we copy that one as well. Let's deactivate this one and let's do another one. Why not? Let's go inside this alpha and change uh, the type of sound. So let's first um, stop that and um, let's actually go inside uh, step bud and um, let's uh, change the rate to one eighth like so uh, let's change uh, let's go up an octave like so and perhaps um, do something different like uh, like that and let's try That's nice. Let's try this one instead. That um, um, hopefully that is uh, nice enough. So we're going to record it here. So let's bring up uh, step bud like so. So I want to check um, where we are with the loop. Click and um, play and record. Let's stop that one as well. So let's close this one. Click and hold on this loop, drag and drop here. Nice. Okay, and we can continue like that. We can record other loops as we need. So, but um, let's try that. So let's deactivate all of these. Actually, I don't need them anymore. So if you don't need them, save resources, delete them and um, Carry on with what you recorded like so. So let's try, click play. What I want to show you as well is that you can make your UI even cooler than that, right? So, for example, let's say that we create a little bit more space here. We add another button there. So, we click and hold and move this button down here. Oops, down there, like so. Now, let's add uh, an effect on this uh, clip, clip 15. So, let's go back to the loop view and then we go inside the mixer. And then, let's add an effect to the color, which is green. So let's click on the green. Okay, and uh, why not? Let's add a phaser and let's listen what it sounds like when we have a phaser on. <music> that is very nice so what we are going to do now is we are going to the canvas and we're going to click here on the edit button and then we are going to um, click on press we are going to scroll down and this time we're going to go on effect action and we we click on what it says enable disable effect okay we select the target in this case the bliss phaser like so and we just leave it to toggle, so on and off, that's nice. And then we change the title here and we say, I don't know, phaser on stroke off and press enter. We exit that, we go back to the main view and now you will see that I can turn and off the effect when I like, so let's try. And 
you can continue like that. So you could record other clips. I haven't used this last row, but you can use the last row as well. You can bring in other audio units. You can add uh, other buttons. For example, one thing that I find very useful is actually to add a button, for example, and let's put it here for now and call that to, for example, um, pause but you could call it whatever you like and then on press what i like to do is to go to the session so to the where is it here the session action and i like to um toggle the clock pause and you can also reset the timeline which is very useful when you have uh, the timeline running on the door section and um uh, actually, let's give it a better name, something like um, pose on stroke off, like so, and um, it's nice. So it's the equivalent of pressing this button up here. So let's try. So, okay, and then you can press it again. Okay, so you could also add another button for start and stop, but remember that creates some problems because uh, the way we have created scene management is to toggle on and off solo clips. And we have seen during the videos that that, that I had behaviors where I had to click on a clip because uh, um, I started and stopped it manually instead of toggling the solo on and off. So remember, that you have things uh, like that that you need to be careful of you also saw that depending on the sound that i've selected in some cases earlier on i had actually to click the panic button several times and that happens particularly with that bass sequence inside um, uh, bliss alpha but it didn't happen for example with uh, the latest preset that i've selected for these uh, third row of clips so some you know uh, quick suggestion in terms of, of uh, how to work with uh, loopy pro i hope you appreciate them and as always see you next time thank you bye